The Victoria ISD Telethon is not that far away. Tonight we have News Center 25, Carolina Astran, who spoke with the ISD Superintendent Quentin Shepard about how the district's education foundation adjusted amid pandemic. The Victoria ISD Education Foundation, like other nonprofit organizations, had to adapt to the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. So many ways, um, 2020 for the VISD Education Foundation was similar to what everyone has experienced throughout this pandemic. Um, looking at our fundraising opportunities differently has been a has been a, a, a challenge and an opportunity, I think, for the foundation. With change came opportunity. Uh, the one that I'm that I'm frankly most excited about is the one that's coming up at the end of this month, and that's a VISD Education Foundation telethon. Now, this is something that we've never done before, but given the virtual environment, this is an opportunity for every single community member uh, to see what the foundation does, to hear uh, about the great uh, grant opportunities the foundation offers, and to support the VISD Education Foundation. It should be a fun evening. While the foundation primarily supports teachers through funding special projects and classroom initiatives, it also works to provide students with scholarships to help pay for dual credit courses, made possible through a partnership the district has with Victoria College. For students who might not otherwise um, uh, take, that, take that opportunity, and here's the best part about it, we know it works. Every single year, year over year, we've had more students um, participate in dual credit classes. And so that number continues to climb at both East and West high schools. And this is in addition to the fact that we offered on-ramps this year, which is, a, which is a new dual enrollment opportunity for kids through UT Austin. At the same time, we still saw our dual credit numbers uh, increasing. So more kids learning more, that's sort of the VISD dream and it's, it's becoming a reality. Victoria ISD Superintendent Quentin Shepard says he has been impressed with how the foundation has taken on the challenge of organizing a telethon instead of the in-person traditional fundraiser. I'm just in awe. It's a totally different skill set. It's a totally different way of thinking about how how, how we approach fundraising. And it's and it's different. And and I'm in education, so I, I love learning new stuff. And so I've I've gotten to learn this new thing about what is a telethon and how do you how do you put one together? And I think it's I think it's fascinating. It's just going to be an enjoyable evening, um, regardless of how it turns out. It should it should be fun. To learn more about the Victoria ISD Education Foundation Telethon, come to CrossroadsToday.com. For your hometown news, I'm Carolina Strain.